Good morning and thank you for joining in. Today in this segment of Let's Talk, we have Dr. Joan Murad with us. And today we will be talking all about PCOS. Dr. Joan is a leading consultant in obstetrics, gynecology and fertility IVF. And today we have, I'm so glad and it's been a pleasure that I have with us for this segment of Let's Talk. Let's talk today about PCOS. So doctor, welcome to Let's Good Talk. Good morning to everybody. And I, it's nice to talk to you all. And uh, we will start the topic of polycystic ovarian syndrome by just uh, definition. It's a syndrome which affects your period, your fertility, your weight, your uh, hormonal balance, and also your psychology. It can cause depression, sometimes other psychological problem. The most important thing, it's not only affecting the fertility, but it also has a long-term effect on the whole body later on. PCOS exactly? It is a hereditary. The cause, exact cause is unknown, but it runs in the family. And usually there are more than one member of the family, either in this generation or the past generation affected with the syndrome. And it varies. It could be in some nation like 2% and another nation could be 6, 26% and even more. The this... symptoms of PCOS and is it visible on the skin or the body? It's a, a spectrum of symptoms, not necessary mm -hmm. that everybody should have every single one of these symptoms. But any two of them qualify a person to be a polycystic syndrome. First of all, the periods. The periods either very irregular or uh, they don't come at all. It's very infrequent or the no period at all. This is one thing. The second thing, there is excessive hair growth on the face and the body. There is excessive hair loss on the front part of the head, in this part, okay. like uh, baldness, male baldness. And that other thing is weight gain. They are usually have extra weight, very difficult to lose weight, very easy to gain weight. In no time, the scale over so high, but very difficult to bring it down. And the other thing is fertility. They cannot conceive easily. Okay. And the psychological part depends how you see yourself and how mm -hmm. you think that other can see you. Mm -hmm. um, it affects the appearance. Okay. And also there is lots of acne and oily skin goes with this syndrome. So uh, is it just related to, is it like a female uh, treatment or a female related to females or it can happen to male too? Females has polycystic ovarian syndrome because they got ovaries. And there is a dysfunction of the hormones in the body causes the syndrome. Thank you for answering that question. If I want to tell my audience, if you have any questions, please put them in the Q&A section that you see a question mark below on the Instagram live. You can put the questions there on the Instagram live question A session. So we'll be answering all the questions at the end of the live session. Uh, moving on to the next question, PCOS affect weight loss and what can we do to ensure we achieve weight loss through though we have PCOS and what kind of diet uh, can supplement and help in that? Causes lots of problem with weight gain, hirsutism, oily skin, and acne. And mm -hmm. there is also another hormonal problem, which is the body has resistant to insulin. So the body cannot digest the sugar properly. So more sugar, because we are not digesting it properly, more okay. insulin release. Mm -hmm. And when the insulin become high because of the resistance of the body, it will increase the secretion or development of uh, testosterone, increases okay. that hormone, and by itself can also cause 
diabetes, and diabetes can cause high blood pressure, overweight, high blood pressure, heart disease, and many more uh, different uh, difficult consequences or, for long run later in the life. But if people control the weight and control the insulin resistant and excessive testosterone in the body, they could live normally. Sometimes this can be done with the help of dietitian. There are a specialist dietitian who mm -hmm. can help this category of the patients with their diet. And the most important thing to avoid sugar, salt, caffeine, alcohol, and to exercise at least 30 minutes, three times a week. These, and there are medications. Sometimes this is not good enough because the syndrome is stronger. This syndrome could be mild and mm -hmm. can be controlled with the help of dietitian and very simple natural procedures. And sometimes it is moderate, it can be reversed with the help of specialist dietitian and some med medicine blocks the fat, fat blocker like Zinica, which can be prescribed by a doctor. There are now high specialization in diet and in the treatment of this category of the patient. And right. some of these problems are very severe, may need even surgical procedures to control okay. their weight. The key factor is the weight and uh, okay. a specialist, gynecologist is specialist, endocrinologist is specialist mm -hmm. and a proper qualified doctor in diet programs. It was lovely information from your end and I hope it is a lot of uh, knowledge and it is helping others as well. So we're moving on, what is the cure or treatment for PCOS? First of all, we have to diagnose the syndrome. Okay. Second, we have to decide what category, mild, moderate, severe. And mm -hmm. uh, then after that, the treatment is individual. Depends whether they are interested in uh, pregnancy at this very minute or they are not even married. They are more interested in the health part of the syndrome. It is mm -hmm. a very wide syndrome, involves the whole body. Really a proper... Uh, monitoring of the syndrome. There is no cure. There is no cure for the syndrome. This people has to follow the instruction, first of all, to be diagnosed, second, to be what category, and third, each category has different plan of treatment. Another point I want to highlight, the yeah, sure. polycystic ovarian syndrome has nothing to do with the cancer of the breast or cancer of the ovary, although the ovaries usually have double the number of the follicles, but it is not related to cancer. So no cancer in ovary, no cancer in the breast, but we need to protect the uterus from long effect of this hormonal imbalance. That was indeed uh, real insightful. And uh, of course, thank you so much for clearing the confusion and giving so much of information. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, keep on listening on the quick question answer below in the uh, chat session, the question session. If you have any questions from your end, doctor, please do let me know from your life. Uh, I just uh, want these uh, people to digest these simple information. Yes, doctor. And then and follow this session by another session to talk more about the diagnosis and the treatment, and sure. also to see these questions, because these questions are individual problem, and right. they need individual attention. So True. we can do all this for them. Right, so is there anywhere that they can reach you on uh, for if they have such a uh, issue, or they can need to on, have come for treatment? On, on, WhatsApp, if they send their questions by WhatsApp, I will try my best to be very informative and helpful. Then they can decide their uh, monitoring, their uh, way of treatment. Where are you pra uh, practicing, doctor, at the moment? Well, I work 
At the moment, I am in Bergil Hospital, Bergil Sharija Hospital. And we are accepting all the insurance so people can come polycystic ovary syndrome is covered by the insurance, pay for it because it is a health issue, not fertility right. issue. It, right. it is both, in fact. But some people are even not married, but they are suffering very badly. So PCO as a syndrome is covered with insurance. And if they are not uh, insured, they can ask for special uh, per, 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 uh, special help for doctors, patient of Dr. Joan Murat, because these people really need help. So we have given them 30% discount. So they pay only 350 for the consultation, not the full fee because they need frequent visit and they need a lot of help. So we make the consultation uh, like 350 only for the hospital. That is a wonderful initiative from your end. If it is not uh, covered under insurance, they will, you can always approach the doctor and they can provide you with discount for the treatment. Sorry, just to interrupt again, they can ask directly on arrival. And not to mention what is their problem, just to say we are under uh, care of Dr. Joan Murad and we are asking for our 30% discount without mentioning anything about the medical problem. That is the way I have arranged with the director of the hospital. Mm, that's so wonderful and it's an amazing tie up with the uh, hospital and thank you doctor so much for providing us so uh, so much information if anyone has any question do let we us will know. wrap up this session now and if doctor if you have anything to summarize please do let me know well in summary it is a hereditary problem it is a very wide spectrum from mm, my how do you know that you have pcos if you have two of these symptoms, a regular period or no period, whether you have uh, excessive abnormal hair on the face and the body, if your mm -hmm. weight is very difficult and if uh, your uh, body skin is very oily and your face and body's back, especially back and the face full of acne, and these, any two of these uh, symptoms Mm -hmm. qualified for diagnosis of right. polycystic and we need to do blood test ultrasound to confirm the clinical diagnosis and then to proceed with the treatment all right that doctor thank you so much for in such an insightful talk hope we have more of this it was really helpful you can reach the doctor on her whatsapp i'll be providing you the details on my instagram do stay tuned for more Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody.